find the square root of 3 to find the square root by long division method for that first we should frame it in this way c that is 3 okay next now here we have 3 3 is not a perfect square so now we should check between which two perfect squares does 3 lie and the perfect square numbers are these that is 1 into 1 equal to 1 2 into 2 equal to 4 3 into 3 equal to 9 and it goes on. These numbers are called perfect squares. Here we have 3. 3 lies between these two numbers. So we should take the smaller number that is 1. 1 is 1 1's 1. So we take here 1 1 and 1. Now we should subtract. 3 minus 1 is 2. Here we should add these two numbers and write. That is 1 plus 1. We get 2. Okay. Now. Now we should write a number here. When I write the number here, then this number will become smaller than this. In that case, in normal division, we used to put decimal here and take 0 here. But here, we should take two zeros. While finding the square root, you should, whenever you put decimal, you should take two zeros. Remember that. Next. Now, here we should write a number. Condition is, whatever number you write here, here also you should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be equal or smaller than this but not larger than this. Okay. So let us find the number here. If we take 6 so we should multiply by 6 only these two numbers should be same so 6 into 6 36 so 6 here 2 6 into 2 12 plus 3 15 if we take 7 we should multiply by 7 7 into 7 49 so 9 4 7 to 14 plus 4 18 so 189 is close to 200 man so we take 7, so 7, 7, 189, even if you take 8 that will cross 200, so we di I did not take that. Now we subtract, so here 1, 9, 10, 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 8 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Here we should add these two numbers and write. 27 plus 7 is 34. Okay. Now I should write a number here. When I write the number then this number will become smaller than this. We already have a decimal. So here you directly take two zeros. In normal division one zero here we take two zeros. Okay. Next. Now here we should write a number. Condition is whatever number you write here. Here also you should write the same number. And also when you multiply this number and this number. Then the resulting number should be smaller or equal to this. But not larger than this. Okay. So let us find the number here. It's 300 here, 1100. So if we take 3, 
3, 4, 3, we should also multiply by 3. These two numbers should be same. So, 3 into 3, 9. 3 into 4, 12. So, 2, 1, 3 into 3, 9 plus 1, 10. If we take 4, we should also multiply by 4. 4 into 4, 16. 6, 1. 4 into 4, 16 plus 1, 17. 7, 1. 4, 3 is 12 plus 1, 13. This is exceeding 1100. So, we take 3. So, here 3, here 3 and here 1029. Okay. Now, you subtract this. That is 0, 9, 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 2 is 7. Here 0, here 0. Now, here we should add these two numbers and write. 343 plus 3 is 346. Now, we should write a number here. When I write a number here, then this number will become smaller than this. We already have a decimal. So, you directly take two zeros. Okay, normal division 1 0, here we should take 2 zeros. Now, here I should write a number. Condition is whatever number I write here. Here also I should write the same number. And also, when you multiply this number and this number, then the resulting number should be equal to or smaller than this. But not larger than this number okay so let us find the number here if we take 2 3 4 6 2 we should also multiply by 2 2 into 2 4 2 into 6 12 so 2 1 2 4 8 plus 1 9 2 3 6 now what if we take 3 when we take 3, we should also multiply by 3. These two numbers should be same. So, 3 into 3, 9. 3 into 6, 18. 8, 1. 3, 4 is 12 plus 1, 13. 3, 1. 3, 3 is 9 plus 1, 10. So, this is exceeding 7000. So, we should take 2. So, you take 2. 2, 2. And here 6924. Now you subtract and it goes on. It is enough if we do up, take up to 3 decimal places. And the square root of 3 is this. That is 1.732. And it goes on. This is our answer. Am I clear?